Today we have a 2007 Toyota Camry SE with a 2.4 motor. It happens to have a check engine light, which happens to be a PO131, which happens to be your oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one. We're going to show you where that's located and how to replace it. Your bank one, sensor one, happens to be right here. It's in a nice location. And the plug-in goes clear back to over here. So it's not too bad. So we're going to show you how to remove that. Our oxygen sensor's right here, and you can see that the cable going to the plug-in runs right along the thing here. These usually, this car's got over 200,000. These you usually push in on them, and they uh, a lot of times it's plastic, it's old plastic, so it breaks. So if it does, just use a zip tie, it's not a big deal. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's okay. A lot of times they just won't plug back in. All right, and all you do is squeeze those, pull it apart like that. It looks like it did break anyway. Now just to have a little more room to get at the oxygen sensor, I'm gonna take this out. This is a 10 millimeter, take that one. Take that one, put in the metal tray, and just pull that off of there, throw it off the side. Now that gives me a, mo a little more room here. And now you can see the oxygen sensor is right here. It was held on right there and it goes back and it's plugged in right there. So we'll probably have to take off the air cleaner. We're gonna start out by taking this 10 off right here. Just loosen that up. Unplugging this one. And there's another one right here you unplug. Just push down the back of it. Like that. Like I did mention this car's got a lot of miles. So there's a 10 right here. But if you look over here, there's supposed to be another one right there. And it just happens to be missing for whatever reason. So I don't know if it broke off or they just lost it. So we're going to move this 10 and remove the cover. If that's loose like that, just tilt it up. Pull it off like that. Remove the air cleaner, which actually has to be replaced. As you can see, this is the plug-in, and it goes all the way down to your oxygen sensor down there, as you can see it. So what we have to do, there's a tab on the back right there. Just push in that tab like that and pull it out. So that's all you have to do to release that little notch right there. Now, if that doesn't pop out as easy as this one, you're going to have to take these three tens out, and you can just remove this out. And then that'll give you a little more room to get at it. But this one popped out easy, so no problem. Now these are your oxygen tools for removing that. This one's a 7 8 What you do is you slide this like that on there. And it's on there. And by unplugging it first, now we'll be able to spin it out of there. Now sometimes you gotta put heat on these. And sometimes oh, you can just break them loose like that. Get it broke loose like that, we should be able to spin it right off. Oh yeah, just make sure that the cable spins with it just like that. A lot of times you get it broke loose like that, and you just spin it off. Okay, and there is our oxygen sensor. Once you compare the oxygen sensor to the new one, and check the plug-in to make sure it's the correct one, you just screw it back in. Now this we're going to tighten back up. A lot of times if these don't come off good, you got to apply heat to them. But this one just broke loose. Tighten that up. And put this over like this. Just got to plug it in. Hopefully it just snaps in. If you can see it, got to make sure it clips. You can hear it click like that now this would normally clip like that right there but it's old and brittle so it broke so we're just going to put a zip tie on it now we just get a zip tie here put it in place and actually anchor it exactly where it was just like that and that way it's not gonna run into something and we'll cut that off a pair of nippers cut that next thing you do we'll throw the air cleaner in here Put the air box back on. Line that up. Push it in. And these have to go underneath like that at an angle. And then push it down. And then 
we can screw it in. Got to make sure these are pushed in, get it in place. And we can't do the other one because it's missing. Next thing will go right here. And we got these. Plug this one in. Also for it to click. Put this one in. Last thing we're going to do is tighten this up, snug this up. And now we're going to go put the snorkel on. Now you can see the snorkel. It goes right on that, which just slides on there. And there's two tens that are holding that right there. Starting by hand. And that's all it takes to do bank one, sensor one, on a 2007 Toyota Camry with a 2.4 motor.